what's up guys welcome back to another episode so we today we got the salty we're taking it out to a brand new area a kind of a big lake slash marsh area with some oyster reefs it's gonna be a good test to see if this salty can handle it yeah i'm looking forward to it because i've actually never fished this area i just really want to get more acquainted with the salty and at the same time explore new water so we're going to be using a variety of lures to see if we can catch one keeper fish that's the plan but the main main point of this video is see if the salty can handle this type of fishing which i do a lot on the channel so without further ado let's get our kayaks loaded in the water and let's see if we can catch some fish right here would be a good area between these two cuts of oyster it's probably not deep at all but lots of bait perhaps we can get something to hit our lure early in the morning here and we're just going to kind of drift with the with the current how deep is it here brother uh, 1.9 okay so it looks pretty shallow huh this whole lake looks pretty shallow we might be able to see some crawling reds lots of bait movement over here by the oyster bed i'll make sure i'm keep my lure next to these structures and just really work it and make that rattle gain some attraction oh that's a red up there i just saw his fin come up right by the right by the oyster let's see what's up his fin momentarily came up i saw it. it's a red fin unless it's a gar <laughs> doesn't look like a gar to me but let's see if we can catch him oh there we go fish on already small trout yeah look at that on the top water there we go nice hey he's probably gonna be right at 14. check that out first first speckled trout today on the top water from bugs really loving this new top water from them check that out little dude thank you buddy so we just gotta be stealthy and just kind of cruise and just keep casting yeah we use something smaller here Let's see if we can get them to bite on a smaller micro lure here this is the bugs, flats bug. Let's see if we get them, get them to eat this. One thing I immediately noticed is how skinny this actually, the salty can get. I am, like I said, drafting in probably five inches of water, easily cruising over oyster beds, no problems, not even touching. I mean, some of them do nick it, but I mean, it's like a very soft baby rub, if you know what I mean. It's nothing like a big oyster cut like you're used to when you go over oyster beds. So that's pretty cool, man. Really pretty impressed even though water is getting into the floorboard I mean but overall it's able to pretty get really skinny uh, even with me in the sitting position yeah that's something I just saw something some back go out of the water that's got to be a redfish up there he's probably about 70 yards out I saw the back come out clear as day and there's a red right there right there I just spooked him laying laying peacefully in the mud <laughs> Gotta be a large red here somewhere, just lying down. Yeah, there's a red right there. I see us. Two of them. Okay, there's two reds up there. So they are cruising along right there. So we get them. But the secret is it's trying to be as quiet as possible. And sneaking up to them. should be good enough right here let's see what happens there we go we got him we got him there we go there he goes there he goes oh my gosh it's a big dude we got him <laughs> i knew i saw him his back out of the water and everything <laughs> all right let's get the net ready on that ultralight ultralight old 18 ultralight daiwa man it is so much fun catching these brutes in this skinny water oh my gosh where are you going buddy don't go too far <laughs> oh nice come on in here buddy come on in here my friend i'm gonna let you go i promise i caught you red-handed cruising that shoreline with your back out of the water <laughs> Man, you got so much zeal. Come on, buddy. Come on in. There we go. Nice fish. First thing in the morning. First red. First slot. Yes. All right. Here we go. Power bar. So, power bar. So, it's here. Look at that, gentlemen. Tell me that's not a beautiful fish early in the morning on the flats bug from Bugs Fishing Lures. <laughs> Look at that right there. Caught him with his back out of water like this. He's just creeping through it right in his face. 
And he smoked it, man. Really, really nice fish. All right, let's get him undone. Let's let him go after we take some pictures and put it on Instagram. 23 and a quarter inch, nice red fish. Well, let you go. Keep destroying that shrimp, all right? Cruise those cruise lines. <laughs> there he goes. Not underneath me, dude. The other way. What are you doing, bro? Go the other way. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, I side casted him at this new area. His back totally out of the water because it's super shallow. And the salty got me the fish, man. So, uh, yeah, the salty can get skinny. What can I say? Let's we'll see if we catch a couple more and call it a day. up to him he's kind of far though it might be a little bit too late they're feeding aggressively they're coming shallow and they're moving out real fast so you gotta be at the right place at the right time pretty much yeah see him they're right there right there oh we got him we got him <laughs> oh <laughs> nice that was a good freaking throw. Got to give it up to these JDM Daiwa reels, man. They are accurate and they toss far. He's not going to be a huge dude, probably about 20, 21 inches, but saw his back. There he goes. Oh my God. Hey, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, come on in here, buddy. I'll take him, man. Smaller slot. No matter, man. We're catching the fish. Side casting them. There we go. Look at that. Dang, man. I'm telling you what. Right here, guys. Daiwa. This thing is accurate. I threw it about a good 30 yards and maybe about five yards extra past him. Put the lure right in his face. He smoked it and we got him in the boat. That's how you do it with these ultra lights, man. You're able to throw a small little one eighth ounce flat spoke just like that guys he choked that flats bug that flats bug is a micro lure they're only hitting micro lures today and that's what i'm throwing and i got an ultralight set up with the check that out old 18 suppressor ultralight use this to catch this big boy right here and man i'm having such a blast at this new spot with the new salty he needs a little bit more crab in his life to get red but let's let this fella go here there you go my man live to find another day there he goes and just like that guy two keeper reds side casting i see there's a bunch of reds here this new spot yeah having a good time on the salty using ultra light stuff doing the type of fishing i love to do and we're nailing them see one more and we're limit we call it a day all right gentlemen it's been about a little bit over an hour and uh caught a couple of nice keeper reds side casting them in really skinny water filled with a lot of sharp oysters and the the salty has handled it really really well no complaints so far uh, for the price of less than two thousand dollars i was able to catch those redfish in skinny water and i have the option of a pedal drive if i need to pull it down in deeper water towards the middle of the lake but yeah the only knack i have about it is obviously the water filling up the floorboard as you see right here oh and talking about the whole slap the whole slap was pretty much non-existent today when I was sight casting redfish. So that that right there is important for me because you got to stay quiet and you got to be a ninja when you're sneaking up to those redfish. I mean, this kayak for the price, you really, really can't complain too much because, I mean, you're getting so much kayak and it's capable of doing the marsh fishing like I like to do. Right there looks like a redfish. We got him. Yep, that was a red. Yep, got him. <laughs> He's a smaller guy, but still was able to sight cast him. That's coming right at me. Got him on a flats bug. Everything on the flats bug today, folks. Smaller dude. I'll take him anyway. So much fun. We're able to see them and sight cast them. <laughs> He's probably going to be close to 18 inches though. Wow, beautiful red. Sight cast him on the bugs right there, the flats bug. Catching everything today. All these reds here today are a little bit pale. I need, need more crab. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. 
There you go, my man. Woo! Easy does it. Everything on the flats bug. Easy money. Yeah, that's a nice big red right there. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Gave himself away. <laughs> oh my god, there he goes. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Look at that drag pull, guys. Oh my gosh. He might be the biggest one today. It might be like 24 inches with ultra light finesse fishing. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Make sure. Get this guy netted in and no, no, don't go under. <laughs> Come on, my friend. Come on in here. Come on in here, big brute. Big buddy. That's a donkey for you. Woo! Wow, that's a donkey. Good job, Rattata. Thanks, brother. Oh, he spit the hook too. Man, I got lucky. Let's just see how big this guy is. I would imagine minimum 24 inches. Biggest one today. It's amazing how shallow these big dudes can get. 24 and 3 quarters, almost 25 inches. Nice big red fish. Let me know when you're ready, brother. There you go. Good job. All right, my friends, we're going to call it quits. That's a limit of reds uh, in two hours of fishing. Not too bad at a new spot here. Planning to side cast redfish if the conditions were appropriate. And believe me, friends, they're appropriate today because I really wanted to test this new salty right here and she did really well man I'm, I'm really surprised i thought i would have a little bit more problems based on my maiden voyage with the side casting skinny water but there's always pros and cons to every kayak there's no such thing as a perfect kayak but you can side cast in shallow skinny waters with this kayak you see me do it today all day yeah i forgot to mention the seat on this is excellent it is super super comfortable they did some improvements on the seat uh, compared to my top water 106 when it first came out a couple years ago but this is a really comfortable seat a very capable kayak is it worth 18.99 oh yeah by all means it's worth 18 it's, i would even say it's worth 2000 2100 bucks there's improvements that could be made on this kayak to make it a better fishing platform but for the price you're getting, you can't really complain too much. Thank you so much, guys. Leave a comment. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you think about this kayak. Are you going to get it? Do you have questions about it? Send me a DM through Instagram or Facebook or even comment on this video. And then um, I'll hit you guys up. Had a great day of fishing. Was able to tear it up with a limited reds on the new kayak. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.